Hey guys, what's up? It's about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, I just finished painting the fenders on the bug and I uh, just kind of want to show you my setup I got here. Nothing fancy. But uh, anyways, here it is. Here's the cover I've got for the garage which is just about, I think it's five rolls of screen material and uh, did a pretty decent job of keeping bugs and dust out and even catches a little bit of overspray which I don't know if you can see it anymore but it's easier to see it during the night but uh, let me show you what we got here so I think I did a pretty decent job spraying the fenders um, I had a couple of little snags spraying them um, such as this right here probably wasn't the best way to spray it just bolting up the fenders and having a plastic next to it because uh, there's this spot here that it got into and just uh, one other spot that I can think of but um, anyways here they are all painted and uh, there's a little bit of trash that got in them but not too much Um, there are some sags on some of the fenders, which is because of my lighting. I mean, the lighting's pretty decent, but um, you can see here I got this 200 watt light up there, and then these 100 watt little can lights, which are the compact fluorescent lights, and uh, I had problems where there was lower lighting which I'll show you here in a second but anyways just kinda wanted to show you how these these came out um, this is Summit Racing's paint and uh, I put two coats of Hugger Orange and two coats of Clear and it came out pretty decent you can see a little piece of trash right there in the light But uh, they came out pretty nice for a cheap paint. And the gun I used was a uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was like 35 bucks. Here it is right here. The purple Harbor Freight gun. But anyways, it worked pretty good pretty decent I uh, set it at 45 psi to spray everything and it came out pretty nice and here's the summit paint I think it was about 80 bucks for the gallon for the uh, hugger orange I've got uh, all kinds of paint but anyways it's pretty inexpensive and it uh, sprayed out pretty good you can see the mess that I made here but uh, let me move on to some of these other fenders so you can just kind of see how they came out but they're looking pretty good there's you can see a sag right there which I'll have to sand that out and then there's a little bit of paint that came off because of the plastic touched it but uh, nothing a little bit of touching up can't fix but this is my first time to spray and um, I think they came out pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is just hit it with some 400 grit sandpaper to get those sags out. And um, there's really not much orange peel, if any. Looks pretty damn good. But I'm going to go ahead and sand it with 400 grit and then uh, 600 grit just to get some of the, the garbage out and take care of some of these sags. Um, you can kind of see, let me see if I can pick up some of the garbage, but you can see a little bit right there. I mean, there's just little speckles of dust here and there. I don't have the cleanest garage, so um, that's why there's crap in the, the paint. I think this fender here had the most problems. You can see some sag 
saggage going on right there, so I'll have to fix that. But uh, I mean, all in all, it came out pretty good. And um, I think there's a little more sag right there. And I guess that's a, yeah, a little piece of trash right there. You can kind of see it in the light over here. But um, they look pretty slick. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Anyways, that's about it.